Great. That was wonderful, Eric. And it just reminds me about your incredible energy uh, uh, over the years. And it took me back to when I was a kid and I came to Boston for the first time and met you. It's a little bit intimidating. Still are a little bit intimidating. Um, so uh, um, uh, this is the end. So thank you very, very much uh, for attending. We've had our biggest ever um, GA for GH meeting. Um, it has been a real pleasure uh, to see all of you here, and in particular, the work that went on in the last two days um, by all the people here. For the new people, remember, you are extremely welcome here. You basically have to turn up on a Zoom call, and you will be listened to. Um, uh, if you have good ideas, you'll be listened to more. Um, uh, so, uh, but uh, as long as you have an internet connection somewhere in the world and you can find the schedule, uh, you can join um, uh, this community. Uh, so um, uh, to stay in touch, you can uh, come to our website. That's also where you can see the work streams. There is a very nice, actually, newsletter put together um, semi-regularly, which will keep you in touch with the community. Um, and uh, uh, that is the way we help bring um, all of you together, uh, as well as these physical uh, meetings. So in fact, just after this, we are going to, the steering committee is going to meet, and there are going to be these three standards which are under discussion. Um, and it seems very likely that they will be passed, though I am prejudging a little bit the voting that will happen at the steering committee. But our process is pretty robust. So, Eric, these are three of your key um, uh, aspects. I particularly like the phrase GA for GH passports, which is trying to um, encapsulate the uh, federated aspect of visiting data <coughs> with the right rights and uh, um, uh, authorization. And a reminder to everybody that we're going through this strategic roadmap refresh. So Workstream Leads will be leading you all um, into a bottom-up view of this. And Heidi and Andrew Morris will be providing the top-down gap analysis uh, on what we're doing. Um, please return your badges uh, so that we minimize the amount of plastic in the Charles River. Um, <laughs> And probably the most important uh, thing is to put this into your diary, because uh, this time sort of next year or the plenary next year is going to be in the lovely, amazing Australia. So Melbourne, Australia. Catherine North points out that the amount of time it takes to get to Australia is very similar <laughs> to the amount of time it takes her to get here. <laughs> <laughs> so don't be daunted by going to Australia, Australians come to many different things. So this is a, it's a long flight. I'm reliably told by uh, Catherine that it's actually easier to do long flights than short flights uh, for a number of these things. The other key thing on this slide is there are no spiders and snakes in Victoria. Is that right? No. <laughs> That's what they say. That's what they say. Uh, it's not like Brisbane, though, yeah? Is that, is that fair? Yeah, that's right. So you, you don't have to be, you know, you don't have to have a little tutoring lessons about spiders and snakes when you go to uh, Melbourne. So please, please come uh, to the plenary um, next year. Uh, and uh, I hope to see many of you uh, over there um, uh, um, in, a, in a year's time. <laughs> This is, this is live map of Catherine <laughs> returning to Australia. Uh, uh, but just a reminder, we've been, um, we have slowly de-anglified over the years from away from uh, uh, to, to spending more time in different places in Europe as well as across America. I know Australia is English speaking, but it is in a very, very different time zone. Um, and so I'm hoping to see a lot more uh, a different audience, as well as all of you uh, there. So thank you very much uh, to the program committee uh, that set this all up. Many of you here, particular thanks to Bob uh, for the Mayo Clinic. And then finally, of course, to Ashley and the team. So could, 
Ashley and team stand up and then we can all Where's Ashley? Okay. Um, it's, uh, I am always impressed at how GF4GH has run, uh, both on these meetings, but also the day-to-day -day work. It, you guys do a great, great job, uh, and we just would not be the organization that we are uh, without you. Uh, so, thank you. So thank all of you, um, and uh, goodbye. See you in a year's time. <laughs>